campaigns and polls coming to a close, the numbers began coming in as a crowd began to grow at John Yakabuski's election results headquarters, located at the Clarion Hotel in Pembroke. Supporters greeted by John as he thanks them for their continued support as they watch the TV, anxiously awaiting any results. Chris Briggs, longtime supporter of John since 2003, says he's the right guy for Renfrew Nipissing Pembroke and believes the night will go in his favor. I've been supporting John Yakubuski since day one when he decided to run for the uh, Conservative nomination back in 2002. I think tonight's going to go very well. I think we're going to, re we're going to return a Conservative majority government. Uh, I'm hoping the Liberal vote's a little better than everybody thinks it'll be because it'll take away from the NDP, NDP vote, but I, I suspect uh, we'll be very successful. It wasn't long before the first numbers came in, and by a wide margin, John successfully was re-elected as MPP for Renford Nipissing Pembroke. At 97 polls counted, John had over 30,000 votes, equaling to about 60% of the total votes cast. John said it's taken 15 years, but he finally has a majority government. Uh, you know, when I was first elected in 2003, when we lost government, I always believed, I was absolutely confident that someday I would be part of a progressive conservative government. I didn't think it would take this darn long. It's a special job to have and uh, to be able to have it uh, as a member of a, a govern governing party is uh, something that I'm, I'm very proud of because my father was a member of a, a progressive conservative government for 22 years and then his last two years in opposition. And uh, I'm saying this one's for you, Dad. This one's for you. Reporting for Coachco News, I'm Trevor Riley. But on a daily basis.